The article provides a historical summary of the currency used in Ecuador. The present currency of Ecuador is the United States dollar. Topic: 1822 to 1830 Gran Colombia. Peso equals 8 reals, silver. Anza. Topic: 8 escudos. 16 pesos diamonds Quito was part of Gran Colombia until 1830 as Departamento del Sur. Gran Colombia's monetary regulations retained the old Spanish colonial system, with both milled and hammered coin circulating. Gold and silver were minted at Popayán and Bogotá, copper at Caracas. On July 28, 1823, Bolívar authorized a mint at Quito, but almost a decade would pass before one opened there. Cobbs were ordered withdrawn in 1826, but because of the lack of other coin, they continued to Provinces only old Spanish colonial coin and Makukina circulated, mostly Peruvian. Topic: 1830–1850 peso Topic. 1830–1836 State of Ecuador Countermarked coin The 1832 countermark was intended solely for coin minted at Bogotá between 1815 and 1821. But coins of below standard fineness had been minted at Bogotá in 1823 1826, but dated 1821, and most were put into circulation in the Quito department during the Gran Colombia period. Coins of Cundinamarca and Granada, dated 1818 1821, counter stamped quantities unknown 1 quarter real, 1 half real, real, 2 reals. 8 reals Topic <inaudible> Silver coin OBV Arms of Colombia Rim inscription El Ecuador en Colombia and Quito below the arms Rev Denomination Rim inscribed El Poder en la Constitución below the year and GJ a sayer's initials A 1 real coin was authorized February 28 1833 Minting of the Medio Real began September 30, 1832, before its characteristics had been established, which explains why some have the letter M according to the law while others have one half. Silver 666 fine dated 1833-1836 One half real 16 mm Real, 20 mm, 3.00-3.95 grams 2 reels, 25 mm Topic: <inaudible> Big coin OBV. Indian head with band reading Libertad, the rim inscribed El Ecuador en Colombia, and under the head Quito. The minting of two escudo pieces began in 1834. Some have their value expressed as 2 e 2 escudos, others as 1 d 1 doubloon, Gold 875 fine dated 1836-1838 Escudo, 18 mm, 3.383 g Doblin, 22 mm, 6. 766 g Topic: 1836-1843 Republic of Ecuador Topic: History. After Ecuador became República del Ecuador on June 28, 1835, the inscription Rev. El Ecuador en Colombia was changed to República del Ecuador, but the Colombian arms were retained. The minting of one and two escudo coins ceased because of an influx of counterfeits of these coins. In their place, President Vicente Rocafuerte authorized a media anza 4 escudo or doblin de a cuatro. 
After more minting equipment was obtained from Chile and installed at Quito, the minting of onzas eight escudo pieces was authorized February 1838. A four-real coin was authorized October 8, 1841, with the same features as the other denominations, but with the added inscription, Moral Industria, around the circumference, making the coin more difficult to counterfeit. Poor quality and counterfeit coin from Colombia and Bolivia entered circulation in Ecuador, and the coins produced by the Quito Mint had many flaws, so that currency standards were difficult to maintain. The use of merchant tokens became widespread. In an attempt to end the use of tokens, the government introduced a cuartillo in 1842. The cuartillo was 333 fine and was called a cale the name given in Spain to the Formaravedi coin and which in Ecuador came to be applied to any small coin of low value. <inaudible> Silver coin Silver 333 fine Cortillo, 16 mm 1842, silver 666 fine. One half real, 17 mm 1838, 1840. Real, 20 mm 1836 to 1841. Two reals, 25 mm 5.80 to 6.10 grams, 1836 to 1841. Four reals, 31. 5 mm 1841 to 1843 Topic <inaudible> Gold coin Gold 875 fine 1 half onza 4 escudos 28 mm 13.500 1836 to 1839 1841 Onza 8 escudos 34 mm 27 064G 1838 to 1843 Topic 1843 monetary law and coin Counterfeiting had reached alarming proportions during 1842 At this time Ecuador was on the verge of bankruptcy the National Convention passed a new monetary law in June 1843, changing the coin type design in an effort to distinguish good money from bad. It adopted a new coat of arms for the obverse and placed a bust of Simón Bolívar on the reverse on both gold and silver. It authorized a gold onza E.8, one half onza E.4, Doblin E.2, Escudo, and one half Escudo, never minted. Silver coins were the peso fuerte R.8, medio peso R.4, peseta R.2, real medio R, one half, and cuarto R, one quarter. But the absurdly low quantities of coin minted in 1844 to 1845 resulted in an influx of worn coin and coin of inferior quality from neighboring countries. Medio peso R.4, 33 mm 1844, 1845. Onza E. 8, 36 mm 1844, 1845. 1846–1856 peso fuerte History On December 29, 1845, President Vicente Ramón Roca authorized a coin to compete with the fuertes full-bodied coin of other countries. This was the peso fuerte, 903 fine. The standard of 875 fine for gold was identical to that of Ecuador's neighbors and presented no problem. The standard of 903 fine for silver, however, resulted in a heavy export of the coin. It disappeared as soon as it entered circulation Gresham's Law, grabbed up by the merchants of Guayaquil. On July 7, 1846, the value of the fuerte was raised from 8 to 9 reals in a vain attempt to keep it in circulation. The November 1846 monetary law adopted a new type with a bust of Bolivar for gold and a liberty bust for silver. These appeared on coins dated 1847. The bulk of the circulating currency consisted of poor quality, worn coins. As soon as the new silver coins appeared, they were clipped and perforated in order to reduce their value to that of the circulating currency, while gold coins immediately disappeared abroad. By the 1850s the Quito Mint was not receiving enough precious metals to justify its operation. 
It had to coin a minimum of 6,000 pesos a year just to meet overhead. The mint was shut down during 1853 while the government considered the options of keeping it open or shutting it down. The mint equipment was worn and could not produce coin in sufficient quantity to compete with the foreign coin that entered Ecuador, especially through the port of Guayaquil. Many coins in circulation were pierced with a hole, and this was causing problems in financial transactions. The governor of Pachincha province proclaimed that anyone piercing a coin minted after 1855 would be punished according to existing penal regulations and that anyone receiving such a pierced coin had to make note of the person passing it. Silver coin Silver 666 fine dated 1847-1852 1 quarter real, 12 mm, 1849-1862 1 half real, 17 mm, 1848-1849 2 reals, 27 mm, 1847-1852 Silver 903 fine dated 1846 Peso fuerte, 38 mm, 27 O O O G 1,386 pieces. Topic: <inaudible> Gold coin. Gold 875 fine dated 1847 to 1856. Anza 37 millimeters 27. O six four G. Topic. 1856–1871 Franco Peso Topic: Five Francos Ten reals Topic: History Congress passed a new monetary law on December 5, 1856, adopting the French decimal system, a standard of 0.900 for silver, and the Ecuadorian franco, equal to 4.500 grams fine silver or 290.3225 mg fine gold. The peso remained a unit of account equal to 5 francos. This measure was intended to avoid the error committed with the peso fuerte of 1846. Only decimal standard coins were to be accepted after October 15, 1866. The Ecuadorian silver coinage had been debased ever since 1833. The government wanted to produce coins of high silver content to finance foreign exchange, so the debased silver had to be withdrawn and replaced with 900 fine silver. This was the reason for the 5 Franco coin, but its appearance in October 1858 caused some confusion. The decimal system was quite unfamiliar to the public and, despite the Franco's introduction, the custom of counting in pesos of eight reals or tostones of four reals continued. Production of the five Francos could not be sustained and it proved impossible to replace all the poor coin i.e., coin 666 fine. The 1859 earthquake closed the Quito Mint until 1861. Banco Particular de Guayaquil obtained permission in June 1861 to have 200,000 pesos in coin 666 fine minted on the pre-1856 octal system Sistema Octavario. Dies for the coins were engraved in Paris and arrived in Quito in October 1862. These were the last coins produced at the Quito Mint. In February 1863 the mint equipment gave out and the government did not attempt to replace it. Besides, Banco de Guayaquil had no wish to continue minting. In minting 35,580 pesos, it had suffered a loss of 6,776 pesos. 19%. Thus, after 1863, all Ecuadorian coin was minted abroad. To keep coin in circulation, President Gabriel Garcia Moreno prohibited the export of coin 666 fine. The circulation of various kinds of tokens became common. Mbabura province, in the north, was authorized to allow the free circulation of Colombian francos. Paper 
Banco de Circulación y Descuento de Manuel Antonio de Luzaraga, Guayaquil, issued Ecuador's first banknotes in 1859 in denominations of 1, 4, 5, 10, and 20 pesos. All its notes were redeemed. La Caja de Amortización, Guayaquil, opened in 1860, issuing notes for 5 and 10 pesos in the amount of 100,000 pesos. It closed in 1861. Banco Particular de Descuento y Circulación de Guayaquil, founded in 1861 by an association of 50 merchants, began issuing notes in 1862 in denominations of 1, 5, 10, and 20 pesos, adding a 50 and 100 in 1864, and notes for 2 and 4 reals in 1865. This bank did much to popularize the use of paper money. It merged into Banco del Ecuador in 1870. Banco de Circulación y Descuento de Planas, Pérez y Obario opened at Guayaquil in 1865 and, without government authorization, issued 300,000 pesos in notes of 4 reals and 1, 5, 10, and 20 pesos. In 1867 it was obliged to recall its notes and close its doors. Banco del Ecuador, founded in 1867, began operations at Guayaquil in 1868, issuing overprinted notes of the Luzaraga Bank for 1, 4, 5, and 10 pesos. It issued new notes in 1870 for 2 and 4 reals and 1 peso. Topic: <coughs> Coin Silver 666 fine one quarter real, 12 mm 1855, 1856, 1862 Two reels, 26 mm 1857, 1862 Four reels, 33.5 mm 1855, 1857, 1862 Silver 900 fine Five francos, 37.5 mm, 25. 000 G, 1858 Topic: 1871 to 1884 peso. Peso. Topic: 10 reals. 100 centavos. Conversion: 1 peso equals 5 francos. Equals. Topic. History equals The silver peso of 25.000 grams 900 fine was made the monetary unit on November 21, 1871, and it was decimalized November 21, 1873. The issue of one and two centavo copper coins minted in Birmingham was decreed June 8, 1872, and President Garcia Moreno provided that the new coins would be received by the government at the rate of 10 centavos per real or 100 centavos per peso fuerte of 10 reals. This established a legal equivalence between the old money and the new. It was further arranged to have Banco del Ecuador import coin based on the French decimal system. Garcia Moreno thus settled the basic problems of Ecuador's currency. In 1877 President Ignacio de Ventimilla authorized the free circulation of coin less than 900 fine, with the immediate result that good quality coin disappeared from circulation, replaced by coin from Chile and Bolivia that was only 500 fine. Topic paper Banco del Ecuador issued notes for 2 and 4 reals and 1, 5, 10, 20, 100, 500 and 1,000 pesos. Banco Nacional, Guayaquil, issued notes briefly in 1871 for 2 and 4 reals and for 1, 5, 10, 20, and 100 pesos. It was taken over by Banco del Ecuador, which began withdrawing Banco Nacional's notes in 1872. Banco de Quito was the first Quito-based bank. It began issuing notes in 1874 for 2 reals and 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 pesos. A new series appeared in 1880 for 1, 5, 10, 20, and 100 pesos. Banco de la Union, Quito, issued notes from 1882 for 1, 5, 10, 20, and 100 pesos. It handled the personal finances of President Ventimilla. Banco Anglo Equatoriano was established in 1884 at Monte Cristi, later moving to Guayaquil. It issued notes for 1, 5, and 10 pesos. 
Topic: <coughs> Coin. Copper, Birmingham, dated 1872. Centavo, 25. 5 mm. 2 centavos, 31 mm. Topic: 1884 to 1898 Sucre silver standard Sucre Topic 10 decimos 100 centavos conversion 1 sucre equals 1 peso equals Topic History equals Ecuador's monetary unit, the peso, was renamed Sucre, decree of March 22, 1884, effective April 1st, equal to 22.500 grams fine silver. The Sucre was named after the Latin American revolutionary Antonio José de Sucre. The 1884 monetary law permitted free circulation of gold coin of France, Italy, Belgium, Switzerland, Colombia, Peru, and the United States. As for silver, the law permitted the import of five franc pieces of France, Italy, Belgium, and Switzerland, of the pesos of Chile and Colombia, of the Peruvian sol, and of the United States dollar and its fractions. Copper was made legal tender to five decimos. Bank reserves were in silver coin and banknotes were convertible solely into silver. Ecuador was on a de facto silver standard and did not coin any gold between 1884 and 1892. The government had silver coin minted abroad through the offices of the private banks, usually taking 25% of the profit. The government signed a contract, October 6, 1887, with Banco del Ecuador to withdraw Chilean coin and low-quality national coin and replace it with coin of standard fineness. A decree of April 12, 1889, made the Bolivian coin circulating in the southern part of Ecuador equal to other coin, since its holders had been losing 20% on exchange. Banco Internacional was entrusted with withdrawing the Bolivian coin, paying partly in good coin and partly in notes. In 1890 Colombian coin 835 fine was exchanged at its face value. Between 1887 and 1892 over 1.75 million sucres worth of substandard coin was withdrawn, so that only high-quality silver coin remained in circulation. President Antonio Flores Gijan, son of Presidente Juan José Flores, announced that from August 15, 1890, only national coin was allowed to circulate in Ecuador, and Ecuador's monetary system was finally unified. But the total face value of coin in circulation had been reduced. In order to alleviate the shortage of small change, the president authorized June 14, 1890, the minting of 30,000 sucres in copper coins of one half and one centavo. The fall in the price of silver had been gradual in 1884 to 1890, but became very pronounced after 1893, and the government began looking at ways to adopt the gold standard. In 1897, the Monetary Commission reported that of the 4,790,730 sucras that had been minted up to then, 2,810,850 had been in one sucre coins and 2,079,000 in halves, tenths, and twentieths. It also reported that of the total, 2,931,081.15 was deposited with the banks and that half of the remainder was still in circulation, the other half either exported or used by industry. Topic paper Banco del Ecuador issued notes of 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 500 and 1,000 sucres. It was one of the most powerful banks of the period. Banco de la Union issued notes for 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50 and 100 sucres until it closed in 1895. Banco Anglo Equatoriano issued notes for 1, 5 and 10 sucres until it was reorganized as Banco Internacional in 1887. Banco de Londres y Ecuador, Quito, evidently issued notes for 1, 5, and 10 sucres. No information about this bank is available. Banco Internacional was reorganized in 1885 from Banco Anglo Equatoriano. It issued notes for 1, 5, 10, 20, 100, 500, and 1,000 sucres. New designs of the 50 and 100 appeared in 1889. It was reorganized in 1894 as Commercial y Agricola. 
Banco Comercial y Agricola, reorganized in 1894 from Banco Internacional, issued notes for 1, 5, 20, 100, 500 and 1,000 sucres. The color of the 1 sucre note was changed in 1897. Coin <inaudible> 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 Copper nickel, dated 1884–1886 Centavo, 17.5 mm Medio decimo, 25 mm silver 900 fine dated 1884–1916 Medio decimo, 15 mm, 1.250 g Decimo, 18 mm, 2.500 g 2 decimos, 23 mm, 5.000 g Medio sucre, 30 mm, 12.500 g Sucre, 37 mm, 25.000 g Topic: 1898–1914 Sucre gold standard Sucre S. Closing parenthesis. Topic: Ten decimos. One hundred centavos. Topic: History. The gold standard was adopted November 3, 1898, the gold coin to be called the Condor Equatoriano, 8.136 g, 900 fine, with a value of 10 sucres. This made the sucre equal to 732.22382 mg fine gold or 2 shillings sterling. Gold par was 10 sucres per pound sterling, 2.055 per $1, and 2.522 francs per sucre. Silver pieces were the peseta 2 decimos, the real or decimo 10 centavos, and the medio 5 centavos. The 1898 law also made the sovereign legal tender. A subsequent decree October 29, 1908, authorized a gold one-fifth condor and vellon coins 75% copper, 25% nickel of one-half, one, two, and five centavos. Topic paper Banco del Ecuador and Banco Comercial y Agricola continued issuing. They were joined by two new issuing banks. Banco del Pachincha, Quito, issued notes for 1, 5, 10, and 20 sucres from 1906. A second issue was for 1, 5, 10, 20, 50 and 100 sucres. Banco del Azue, Cuenca, issued notes from 1913 for 1, 2, 5, and 10 sucres. Topic. Coin Copper nickel, heat and mint, dated 1909 One half centavo, 15 mm 4 million Centavo, 17 mm 3 million Two centavos, 19 mm 2.5 million Five centavos, 21 mm 2 million Gold 900 fine dated 1899 to 1900 Heat and mint 10 sucres, 22 mm, 8.136 grams, 100,000 pieces to mint the condor. The government sold 3 million sucres in silver coin, all the half sucre coins and all the foreign silver that it had taken from circulation in southern Ecuador. The condor was minted at Birmingham and issued through the private banks Banco Comercial y Agricola and Banco del Ecuador. Topic 1914–1927 Sucre unconvertible paper. History The gold standard was suspended in 1914 and banknotes were declared unconvertible tender. The price of silver rose and its export was embargoed. The exchange rate remained at par 2.055 per $1 until 1918, when progressive depreciation set in. The government established a complete monopoly on foreign bills of exchange. Late in 1922 the free market rate fell to 5.405 per dollar. The government took draconian measures, requiring exporters to surrender foreign exchange earnings at a rate set by the Exchange Commission 3.60, U.S. dollar. 
The government struggled with the foreign exchange problem until the sucre was finally stabilized in 1926 at 5 sucres per US dollar. The economic situation was disastrous, due in part to the fraud of the commercial banks, the most notorious of which was Banco Comercial y Agricola's issue of notes in excess of the legal limit in the huge amount of 18 million sucres. The Junta de Gobierno produced by the July Revolution Revolución Juliana, July 9, 1925, wished to create a central bank, despite violent opposition. There were then six banks of issue, Del Ecuador, Comercial y Agricola, De Pachincha, Credito Agricola e Industrial, Del Azue, and the recently opened 1920 Banco de Descuento. Coin Copper nickel, Philadelphia Mint, dated 1917, 1918, Two and a half centavos, nineteen millimeters, one point six zero million, nineteen seventeen. Five centavos, twenty one millimeters, one point two zero million, nineteen seventeen, one point nine eight million, nineteen eighteen. Ten centavos, twenty two millimeters, one point zero zero million, nineteen eighteen. Copper nickel, Providence Mint, dated nineteen nineteen. 5 centavos 20 millimeters 12.00 million 10 centavos 25 millimeters 2.00 million copper nickel Heaton mint dated 1924 5 centavos 16.5 millimeters 10.00 million asterisk 10 centavos 19.5 millimeters 5.00 million topic 1927 to 1932 Sucre Gold Exchange Standard Sucre equals 100 centavos Condor equals 25 sucres equals Topic History equals a government decree of October 9, 1925, authorized a central bank, and on June 23, 1926, President Isidro Ayora created the Caja Central de Emisión y Amortización Central Office for Note Issue and Withdrawal in anticipation of the central bank. Its main task was to assume control of the notes and metallic reserves of the six private banks of issue, and to withdraw their notes in exchange for notes of its own. Caja began exchanging private banknotes for notes of its own in December 1926, continuing its operations until August 12, 1927. The Kemmerer Financial Mission Commission de Expertos Financieros arrived in 1926, and its report was the basis for the monetary reform of March 4, 1927, which created El Banco Central del Ecuador and put the Sucre on the gold exchange standard, with devaluation 58.8% to 300.933 mg O equivalent to 20 cents. The new Condor was 8.35925 grams 900 fine, valued at 25 sucres equivalent to the U.S. half-eagle. Banco Central's statutes were approved June 3, it was formally inaugurated August 10, and it began operations October 1. Ecuadorian gold was recoined at Birmingham, silver at Philadelphia. Paper. Private banknotes ceased to circulate after 1927. Caja Central de Emisión y Amortización overprinted certain private banknotes of 1, 2, 5, and 10 sucres with its own name, domiciled them Quito, and put them into circulation in December 1926. This was a provisional series to prepare for a central bank of issue. El Banco Central del Ecuador, Sociedad Anónima released notes for 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 sucres in 1928. These notes had a gold redemption clause, e.g., Pagera al portador a la vista 5 sucres en oro o gyros oro promises to pay the bearer at sight 5 sucres in gold or gold exchange. The gold clause was retained on Banco Central's notes until 1939. Topic. Coin The great variety in type and size of the copper and nickel coins introduced between 1914 and 1925 was awkward and confusing, so they were all replaced by coins minted at Philadelphia and dated 1928. 
Bronze, Philadelphia Mint, dated 1928 Centavo, 20.5 mm 2 Copper Nickel, Philadelphia Mint, dated 1928 Two and a half centavos, 18.5 mm, 4 million. Five centavos, 19.5 mm, 16 million. Ten centavos, 21 mm, 16 million. Silver 720 fine dated 1928, 1930, 1934. Philadelphia. Fifty centavos, 18 mm, 2.500 grams. Sucre, 23.5 mm, 5.000 grams. Two sucras, 28.75 mm, 10.000 g. Banco Central sent 63,680 condors of the 1898 standard to Birmingham to be recoined into 20,000 new condors, the remainder to be sold as bullion. Gold 900 fine dated 1928, Birmingham. Condor 25 sucras 22 mm 8 35925 grams 20000 pieces Topic 1932 to 2000 sucre The gold exchange standard was suspended February 8 1932 Exchange controls were adopted April 30 and the official rate was fixed at 5.95 per U.S. dollar. After the price of silver rose above the nominal value of most silver coins in the 1930s, Ecuador embargoed the export of silver May 17, 1935. This was followed by numerous adjustments to the foreign exchange system as the sucre continued to depreciate. Foreign exchange controls were finally lifted in September 1937 and the official rate was set at 13.50 per US dollar. The sucre was devalued to 14.77 per dollar on June 4, 1940, and exchange controls were reimposed. The official rate became 14.00 per in 1942 and 13.50 per in 1944. Parity was registered with the International Monetary Fund on December 18, 1946, at 65.827 mg fine gold 13.50 per US dollar, but a system of multiple exchange rates was adopted in 1947. The Sucre's IMF par was devalued to 15 per dollar in 1950, to 18 per in 1961, and to 25 per in 1970. The Sucre maintained a fairly stable exchange rate against the U.S. dollar until 1983, when it was devalued to 42 per dollar and a crawling peg was adopted. Depreciation gained momentum and the free market rate was over 800 per dollar by 1990 and almost 3,000 per in 1995. The Sucre lost 67% of its foreign exchange value during 1999, then in one week nosedived 17%, ending at $25,001 on January 7, 2000. On January 9, President Jamil Mahuad announced that the U.S. dollar would be adopted as Ecuador's official currency. Protests led to his removal. Vice President Gustavo Naboa became president, only to confirm the government's commitment to dollarization. On March 9, 2000, Naboa signed a law passed by Congress, replacing the sucre with the United States dollar at an official exchange rate of 25,000 sucres per one dollar. Both currencies were to circulate, the dollar being used for all but the smallest transactions. Only coins would continue in the local currency. $2,000 dollarization. U.S. dollar Conversion, 1 U.S. dollar equals 25,000 Sucrest U.S. dollar became legal tender in Ecuador March 13, 2000, and Sucre notes ceased being legal tender on September 11. Sucre notes remained exchangeable at Banco Central until March 30, 2001, at 25,000 Sucres per dollar. Ecuador now only issues its own centavo coins. <laughs> 